When it comes to A-list cheating scandals, many people would quickly point to an alleged cheating husband. But these stars prove that women can be the ones responsible for all the drama. From Kris Jenner to Katherine McPhee, these famous wives cheated on their husbands with much younger men. Kris Jenner's marriage to Robert Kardashian created the Kardashian empire as we know it, specifically in the form of Kourtney, Kim, Khloe, and Rob Kardashian. The union was far from perfect, though, and Kris has admitted to being less than faithful during the marriage. In her 2011 memoir, Kris Jenner and All Things Kardashian, Jenner confessed to cheating on Robert with a soccer player, eventually revealed to be Todd Waterman. In 2018, Jenner admitted she's not proud of her misstep, explaining to Objectified, When I look back on it now, probably one of my biggest regrets in my life is that that marriage fell apart. I think I have one regret and that was getting divorced. Jenner claimed that things got particularly rough when her husband learned about the affair and eventually filed for divorce. She said, It made it real. Like, you think you're going to come through this period. That was really hard for me. Waterman confirmed the sordid affair, telling the Daily Mail in 2012, The love swept us away. We made our own different reality. It was special. It was a little crazy, a little wild. We didn't exercise caution or self-restraint. I think we were both very much in love. When Morena Baccarin announced she was divorcing her husband, Austin Chick, it's fair to assume her relationship with Gotham co-star Ben McKenzie was at least a contributing factor. In fact, she was actually already pregnant with Mackenzie's child. Chick claims Baccarin told him she was three and a half months pregnant, making it clear the child wasn't his. According to legal documents published by TMZ, he said, This places the moment of conception right in the first week of June 2015, the time she was telling me she wanted to work on our marriage, and well before we stopped sharing a bed. Baccarin also claimed the couple had discussed separating three months prior. Still, the relationship reportedly came as a surprise to Chick. An inside source alleged to Entertainment Tonight, Austin was totally shocked when he found out about the affair, totally blindsided. When Morena left him for Ben, Austin was devastated. It's been, it's been real. <laughs> it's a whole other ballgame. Baccarin and Mackenzie welcomed their daughter in March 2016 and eventually got married in June 2017. In the 80s and 90s, Meg Ryan was America's sweetheart. She was also married to All-American favorite Dennis Quaid. So when she and Quaid split in 1999 amid news that she had an affair with her Proof of Life co-star Russell Crowe, public opinion of the bubbly actor shifted in a big way. She told W Magazine at the time, So this is what it feels like to be the Scarlet Woman. My marriage dissolved before it became sport for the press. The reasons we broke up have nothing to do with another person. My marriage was broken. Nobody else broke it up. That's true. I know it to be true. And Dennis knows it to be true. What anybody else thinks, I have no control over. The tabloid aspect of it was really heartbreaking and there was for me something I never really wanted to talk about in depth. In a 2008 interview with InStyle, Ryan opened up about the scandal again, this time elaborating on Quaid's alleged infidelity. She said of the gossip version of her divorce, It was a great story, but what wasn't in the story was the reality of my marriage for nine years. Dennis was not faithful to me for a long time, and that was very painful. I found out more about that once I was divorced. In 2008, Madonna and former New York Yankee Alex Rodriguez dominated the gossip headlines thanks to their much speculated on affair. In July of that year, A-Rod's then-wife Cynthia Skirtis left the athlete and reportedly divulged to a friend that she found letters in which her husband described Madonna, who was 17 years his senior as his quote, soulmate. Skirtis reportedly told a friend, I feel like Madonna is using mind control over him. I don't recognize the man he's become. He was a sweet, beautiful, loving husband and father. Today, he's very cold and calculating. That week, Skirtis's lawyer explained to People magazine that Madonna and A-Rod's rumored affair should be considered a relationship, even if it wasn't physical, adding, Some people categorize an affair as infidelity. We're not claiming that. It's an affair of the heart. Although Madonna denied the rumors, her marriage to director Guy Ritchie ended in October 2008. 
The following month, A-Rod was spotted supporting her during a concert, which again fueled rumors that the two were dating. When People magazine asked A-Rod about Madge in December 2008, he said, quote, We're friends. That's it. You know, I think everything happens for a reason. Sure, there's some regrets along the way, but I think, uh, you know, you don't have to be defined by those mistakes. When it comes to celebrity cheating scandals, few, if any, could ever hope to top the one that rocked the British royal family in the 90s. By the time Prince Charles and Princess Diana officially called it quits in 96, both had admitted to infidelity during their marriage. In a 1994 documentary, Charles confessed to his affair with his longtime love and now wife, Camilla Parker Bowles. When asked if he had been faithful in his marriage to Diana, he answered yes, before pausing and adding, "...until it became irretrievably broken down, us both having tried." A year later, Diana sat down for her now infamous tell-all with the BBC, in which she opened up about the infidelity on both sides of the marriage. Referencing her husband's affair, she said, "...there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded." I've come to the conclusion that really it would have been far easier to have had two wives." When asked if she was unfaithful herself, Diana said of her rumored lover, James Hewitt, "'Yes, I was in love with him, but I was very let down. I adored him. I was in love with him.'" Anne Heche was married to Coleman Lafoon when she started hooking up with her Men in Trees co-star James Tupper in 2006. "'Is he married?' "'A cheater watches gay porn just for variety.'" LaFoon filed for divorce when the affair went public, and Heche and Tupper continued their relationship, welcoming a son together in 2009. Two years later, Heche told The Telegraph that she was, quote, "...eternally engaged to Tupper," adding, "...I've already said yes. When I'm 60, I'm happy to walk down the aisle. I've been married before, and so has he. I don't know what either of us would gain or what would change that would benefit us. We thank our lucky stars for Men in Trees because now we have our beautiful son." Heche and Tupper ultimately split in 2018. Heche shared a joint statement with People magazine that read, "...James and I have shared a great life together and have many wonderful memories. We've enjoyed working together, most recently on The Brave, where he joins us for our two mind-bending finale episodes. Relationships change and grow. We're taking time for that. We care very much for each other and plan to continue raising our two beautiful boys in love and harmony. Thank you for allowing us privacy as our family evolves." In 2009, the gossip cycle was dominated by Leanne Rimes and Eddie Cibrian's affair. Both had been married to other people when they met on the set of their Lifetime movie Northern Lights. Our relationship didn't quite start off like we had planned. When news of the dalliance went public, Rimes's then-husband, Dean Sherme, filed for divorce. Cibrian's wife, Brandi Glanville, also filed for divorce. In 2010, Rimes opened up about the scandal, telling Robin Roberts, "...that's just not me. What happened is not who I am, period. I do know how much I love him. So I've always said I don't live my life with regret. I can't. It happens every day to so many people. You had two couples whose marriages didn't work, who really stumbled upon each other and fell in love." Rhymes also addressed the drama in a 2010 interview with People magazine, revealing, "...I did one of the most selfish things that I possibly could do in hurting someone else. I take responsibility for everything I've done. I hate that people got hurt, but I don't regret the outcome." Rhymes and Cibrian wed a year later and have been together ever since. Catherine McPhee has cultivated quite the good girl image for herself over the years, but a cheating scandal changed everything for the singer. The American Idol alum made headlines in October 2013 when she was caught in an affair with her Smash director, Michael Morris. McPhee was still married to producer Nick Kokos, but the two had been separated for six months at the time. The officially divorced after news of McPhee and Morris's fling broke. But that didn't do much to lessen the scandal, since Morris was married to his wife of 10 years, actor Mary McCormick. McPhee opened up about the transgressions, telling Ocean Drive in 2016, "...I don't have any regrets. All of the choices I made, I learned from in a really deep way. I think we are all on that journey to have more awareness about who we are as a person and to grow and learn." Even so, McPhee insisted she's not a cheater, deep down. She explained, "...I'm a one-man kind of gal and a kind of true romantic at heart." What do so, you love about Catherine? Well, her singing, first of all. Good question. Yeah, I mean, where do I start? 
In 2019, McPhee married legendary Grammy Award-winning music producer David Foster. She told Entertainment Tonight of their relationship, We just love being with each other. There's no arguing, no drama. It's just easy. That's how it should be. The happy couple announced they were expecting their first child together in October 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.